yesterday I rode around I rode 20 miles yesterday I don't think I even turned the camera on yesterday uh, I don't know why but I didn't I just did my ride now I just want to thank all the uh, people that have subscribed and, and my viewers that I have that subscribed. I just want to let you know I appreciate it. Thank you. And hopefully I can get a few more. Uh, so far, seems like we've got a pretty tough audience out there. Either that or I have a a sense of humor of a slug <laughs> which is okay I don't care because I'm not going to try to be somebody I'm not but at the same time I don't want to make these rides boring for you so I'm going to keep plugging away and uh, tomorrow we're taking the kids to Knott's Berry Farm. They're out of school right now. So I'm going to do a small review on Knott's Berry Farm. Today is about B-roll. We're going to get some B-roll today. And... Uh, See what kind of different shots I can get and just so I can use them in future videos and stuff like that I was gonna try off start there but there was too much equipment in the background beeping and stuff so bear with me and just ride along with me and let's see what kind of video I can get Okay, just came back from a ride, 20 miles, uh, messed around trying to do some B-roll and stuff. Uh, got some of it, some of it was just, just screwing around. Um, but anyways, I noticed my seat was creaking. So I'm going to go get my granddaughter and have her be the camera woman while I pull the seat out and show you how to fix it. Okay. Okay, I have my granddaughter here, Jalen. Say hi. hi. And she's gonna be my she's gonna be my camera woman. And I'm gonna show you guys how to change this or uh, pull the seat on a carbon bike. Now this is carbon, this is not aluminum. Uh, you could do it on aluminum too, but uh, carbon they'll creak a lot. And I'm gonna show you how to take care of that right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab my tools out of the toolbox. We're gonna take this, we're gonna bring it down here. Bring it down. We're gonna take, try to keep this in the middle. Camera. We're gonna take this camera out of the way. Right here. Okay. That's my rear camera. And this is just like a little tip, okay? I'm going to spin this rubber out of the way. Okay. Find the right size Allen wrench for it. Should be this one right here. Uh, 
Okay, it has Torx settings on here. And we're going to take her loose. You want to look where your seat is sitting. Mine's at 60 millimeters, so I'm going to break that loose. They can loosen up the bolt a little bit. And sometimes it can be a real chore. Pop it loose. Pull the seat out. Okay, you there? Alright, now we gotta get something to clean it with. And what I'm gonna get to clean it with is drag. And some awesome. Uh oh. Which is awesome. I think it turned off. Huh? I think it turned off. Nah, it didn't turn off. Oh. I was touching. Okay. Go put it in the sun. Okay. Put a little awesome on there, which is awesome. And we're going to wipe her down. Okay. Make sure it's really clean. Okay, what you want to do is you want to get a long screwdriver and a rag. You can take your awesome or whatever you're going to do, spray a bunch on the rag. Yep. Probably be better to use something that evaporates. So we're going to use some some oops just to remove stickers and stuff like that so but it will you don't want to leave something inside there that's going to be slippery and that awesome is going to have soap in it it's going to be slippery you want to clean it out really good down in there okay and take your screwdriver wrap it up around there and slip it down in there just clean up the inside of that tube real good. You don't want to scratch it with the screwdriver though. Just the rag. Okay. When you're done doing that, we're gonna get it's called fiber grip. Okay, to put on your seat post. For cart, it says for carbon fiber assembly gel. Okay. What you want to do is you want to put some on your finger. This will stop the creaks. Now this stuff is is kind of gritty. It's a lubricant, but it's gritty. And what that grit's going to do. It's going to grip that seat post so it doesn't slip. Because you don't want the seat post slipping on you. So put it on there. Not too much, just enough. Okay, and then we're going to slip it right back down inside there. Look for my 60, right to there. Grab the Allen wrench. Put it on Newman's uh, 6. Up here on 6, Newton's, Newton's Law. Anyway, and then we're going to torque it up because you don't want to break your carbon. First off, I got to get it run in. And if you got a torque, good torque wrench, it'll click when you get to your torque. You got it down there? Keep it on there, not on me.
right there. Here, click. Got enough on it. Don't need no more than that. Otherwise, you're going to crack the carbon on your bike. You don't want to do that. Crack the carbon. You got a thousand dollar frame you might as well throw away. Anyways, we're all done. And that is the tip of the day. And we had a good ride. And I'll see you. Oh, tomorrow, I'm taking the grandkids. We're going to Knott's Berry Farm. So we're going to do a little review at Knott's Berry Farm. And we'll bring you along. Show you where the good places are to eat. Show you what rides are there. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Jalen. <laughs>